What's going on? It's Trinity in Story. If it's your first time here and you wanna find new fact that'll definitely make you smarter in the more well informed, make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. When she was one year old, Vika lost her mother. When her father took her upbringing alone until she reached the age of nine. One day, the father told her that he wanted to marry a young woman and promised that she would be the best stepmother. Although Vika didn't want anyone between her and her father, Sergei, whom she loved so much, the woman whom Vika's father married is a very beautiful young woman and an excellent housewife. She also has a 15-year-old boy. Days after, Tatiana treated Vika harshly, especially in the absence of her father, who was very busy. In return, she was looking after her son, Vasily. After nine years, Vika became 18 years of age, and she wanted to go to university. But unfortunately, her father died in a traffic accident. Then her stepmother showed the hatred she had for her and ordered her to leave the house as soon as possible because she'd bring her mother to live with her. Vika kept crying for several hours for her shepherd dog, Sepai, which she used to call Aleph. The young woman was forced to move to a hut inherited from her grandmother, who left to live in the city. Vika could not continue her studies at the university because she didn't have the money. So she worked in a village store and returned in the evening to spend time with Aleph, whom she loved very much. The unlucky young woman also lost her beloved dog after she found him lying in the front door of the house suffering from serious injuries. After he was attacked by unknown persons, and although she tried to save him, she failed to do so. The young woman became alone, and for several days she grieved the last person who loved her in this world. As the days passed, the young woman began getting used to it and gradually returned to normal life. One day while Vika was going home, she found a group of dogs on her way around a shepherd dog. And when she saw the dog, she headed towards him, cuddled him. That dog was a lot like Aleph, which made the young woman think that her Aleph had returned to life. The young woman found that the dog was severely injured, which made her transfer it directly to the veterinarian in the village. And there the doctor treated him and gave him some medicine. The young woman returned to her home, accompanied by a shepherd dog, to sleep and to take care of him. The dog was obedient and cheerful, and he moved actively inside Vika's house, which made her very happy. When the dog recovered, Vika noticed that he was leaving her house and going to an unknown location, only to return late at night. In fact, that dog is owned by a young man named Alexander, who lives on the other side of the village. The good and beloved young man lost his parents and lives in the farm, which he inherited from his father. The dog had a second secret owner, and he could not abandon her because she saved his life. One day, Tatiana came with her son, Vasily, to Vika's house, where she told her that she needed someone to take care of her mother while she was traveling. But Vika refused and asked Tatiana and her son to leave her house immediately. The next night, while Vika was sitting in her bedroom waiting her dog's return, I heard a strange sound in the yard of the house. And when I went to see what was there, I found Vasily at the door while he was drunk. The young man caught Vika and then threw her on the bed to rape her. And despite the fact that the young woman tried to resist him and scream, suddenly the shepherd dog appeared and jumped to Vasily and dropped him on the ground, and Vika lost her consciousness. The dog continued to chase the drunken man until he moved away from the house. And when he noticed that Vika was not moving, he went running to Alexander and went back with him to the young woman's house to help her. After the young man helped Vika regain consciousness, they went together to the police station to report the incident which was subsequently arrested, while Vika loves Alexander and married him, and moved to live with him in his house with a dog shepherd named Amur. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.